OK, it's finally happening. Arsenal Football Club are getting a new manager. And at the moment, all fingers are pointing to Mikel Arteta. Which, to be honest, is a bit... But we don't know. People are trying to say it's a smokescreen. We're getting Allegri, all this shit. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of what Mikel Arteta can potentially bring this club if he is to become the manager, which is a weird sentence to say. Okay, let's just start with the pros. To start with, he's young. The biggest criticism about Arsene Wenger is the fact that he was stuck in his ways. He was going to do it his way, basically. He was a stubborn old geezer, yeah? His football was outdated, his tactics are outdated, which, to be honest, I agree with. But to get a young manager in with new ideas and a new way of thinking, that, that's a positive thing. That is a positive thing. He knows the club very well already. He was our captain. And let's be honest, he jumped onto a sinking ship. He come over when we weren't doing particularly well. We just lost Fabregas and Sami Nasri. And he helped steady that ship. And anyone that says he didn't is talking out their rectum. And people think about Mikel Arteta as his last one or two years, that injury prone, his Achilles is gone, not that great. And let's be honest, he wasn't. He was a hindrance when he was on the pitch. He was never a physical player, never the fastest. And once his Achilles went, he went downhill very, very fast. But before that, I genuinely, he was probably my favourite player at the club. And that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. He embodied what a captain should be to me. He was well-spoken. He gave everything he had. He led by example. And those qualities can easily be translated into being a manager. I'm not saying that he can do it, but that's a positive for me. Another positive is the fact that he's worked under Pep Guardiola, the best manager in the world for the last two seasons. So maybe he can come and incorporate similar tactics. Obviously, we don't have the personnel that Man City have. But we do have a, a crop of really good players. And looking at how this summer's going, we're linked with a, quite a lot of players. Now, I don't know who the manager coming in is. I'm talking as if it's going to be Arteta. He's the nailed on favourite, which, again, fucking weird sentence to say. But whoever it is, is being ruthless. They've cleared out the coaching staff. Uh, they've let Colin Lewin, the physio, go. They've told other physios you have to reapply for your job. And already, we're linked with quite a few players. Bernd Leno, the goalkeeper, the German goalkeeper from Leverkusen, um, Socrates, and Seri from Nice. Now, obviously, we did get Sven from Borussia Dortmund, and, um, you know, I, I probably agree with anything that this guy wants to do, to be honest with you. Aubameyang's come in and he's really surprised me. Um, it's more the partnership of him and Lacazette, especially if Mkhitaryan's playing with them too. You can see there's something special there. And also with Mavropanos, I mean... Those are the two guys that's been signed since he's come. And they both look so promising that I'm willing to just let him do the transfers. I don't give a toss. This next manager can just relax. Let this man be the guy that decides who comes in. Because obviously he's got a good eye for talent. Another positive about Mikel Arteta is you can tell he's that type of person. He takes everything in. He's like a sponge. And again, working under who I believe is the best manager in the world, Pep Guardiola, for two seasons, he's going to soak in a lot of knowledge there. And the fact that he's kind of been on the front line like a little spy infiltrating that camp. I think that's a positive thing. If he was to come in, I'm trying to be positive about these things. There's no point in getting the hump. There's all these people saying, Wenger out, booing the team at home, getting all these banners out, saying the next manager will back him. Well, them same people are getting scared because it could be Arteta coming in. So I think it could almost be a, a, a two fingers up from the board. They could be like, yeah, okay, we'll let Arsene Wenger go. We'll let Arsene Wenger go. You're going to stand by the next guy, yeah? Is Mikel Arteta for you? But yeah, basically all I'm saying is the fact that he's getting knowledge from a great manager, um, different types of tactics, different ways of looking at the game, that's only a good thing. And lastly, I think one of the most important things I want from my manager, I want him to be respectful. I want him to be well-spoken. And Mikel Arteta is all those things. We, we've heard him do many interviews when he was our captain, and you could tell he cares. He cares about the club. And I think that would be a great continuation from the kind of model and mould that Arsene Wenger has left um, behind, really. As a manager, how respectful is that guy? How respectful, how well-spoken is he? That's what, I, that's what I want my manager to be. That is what I want my manager to be. I look at Mourinho and I think I could not have that guy be my manager. I don't give a toss what he wins. That boring style of football that they play, regardless of how much money they spend, and how he thinks that the, the world owes him something is disgusting and the way he manages the young players I mean literally the other day was Lukaku was injured so he started Rashford and Martial 
and they lost. I can't remember who it was against. Was it against Brighton? I think it was against Brighton. And the interview after, instead of nurturing these young players and saying, oh, you know, it was a difficult game. They ain't in a good rhythm. They're not playing particularly well yet, but, you know, a couple of games under the belt and they'll pick up some form. That's the type of thing that Arsene Wenger would say. You know, he would back his decision and he would always stand by the player. What does this man say? Mourinho looked at the guy who was interviewing him and said, people always ask why I play Lukaku over Rashford and Martial. Now you know why. Why the hell would you want that man as your manager? Not even mentioning the shit he was saying about Luke Shaw. You know, Luke Shaw was going to be oh, the best the best left back in the league for the next 10 years. The best left back. They've got a bargain there. 30 million for the best left back in the league for the next decade. That's pinned down for a decade. Look how that man is treated, that guy. And I'm not saying Luke Shaw is the most professional. He does get out of shape. But, you know, his, his career has barely begun. And he's already just getting slagged off by this arsehole. So, yeah, all I'm saying is I want my manager to be respectful. I want my manager to be a lovely chap. And I'll tell her definitely ticks that box here comes the negatives <laughs> here comes the negatives this man has never managed a day in his fucking life now that's a big negative that is a big negative i was positive with the positive bit now i'm gonna be negative with the negative bit i don't really know how the hell he is even considered as a candidate to carry on from arsene wenger like what the fuck yeah the tone of this video changed we have a great fan base. I genuinely believe the love for our team is excellent. But at the same time, there's a bunch of fucking assholes that support us. There is a bunch of people that just want attention and are willing to say anything to get attention. And Mikel Arteta has, is on social media, isn't he? I think he has Instagram and Twitter. You better fucking delete that, mate. You better fucking delete that off your phone. Can you imagine? We play the first game of the season, we lose. Second game, third game, draw, loss, start bad. We're notorious bad stars. Imagine if that happens again. The messages this man is going to get from deluded fucking idiots who think they could do any better, which let's be honest, they, they, they can't. But yeah, mate, just fucking delete your social media. Stupid idea if you're going to be a manager. Fucking get rid of it. We've had a manager for the last God knows how long that has controlled every single aspect of the infrastructure of a club. From the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, he analyses and controlled everything. Now, I don't know if the new manager is going to be able to do the same thing, but I highly doubt that Arteta, a man that's never managed a game in his fucking life, has what it takes to manage every aspect of a football club. It's not just managing the team, it's running the club. Unless the people upstairs are going to actually start doing their job rather than letting Arsene Wenger do everything and take the hit for it. Maybe these guys upstairs are going to start earning their money and doing something. Can he handle that pressure? That's inevitably going to come along when we lose a game or two and the fans start whinging. Like, oh, look, I'm not a hypocrite. I come on here, I come on here, I'll whinge, I'll moan. But that's when I've literally, I've just had enough of it. That's when I've just had enough of it. I've got to vent, get out, then I forget about it. Because there's no point in getting the ump about it. That's what I do. But at the end of the day, I've always been respectful to Arsene Wenger. I love this, I love this man. I'm 26 years old. He's the only manager I've really seen manage the team I love. And the way he went out was embarrassing, really. He got forced out. He got forced out. He should have gone before. It's like he didn't know what was good for him. And it ended up going badly, didn't it? And I think he'll regret that one day. The fact that he went out the way he went. And how the fans turned on him. Not all the fans, just some of the fans. As much as I wanted him to go... I always respected him because at the end of the day the football that this man brought to the Premier League the players he brought to the Premier League it speaks for itself it speaks for itself and the way that he tried to manage a football club and win the right way he didn't try to spend 500 million in a transfer window he tried to bring youth players through buy sparingly you know not spend a ridiculous amount he trusted players too much I think a lot of players let him down in the last few years a lot of players but he made some bad decisions some very bad decisions, and it's come back and bit him on the ass, really. But I'm happy. I just want him to just chill. Just go and manage France. Go and manage France. Try to win your country a World Cup, a Euros. Go do that. I'm just rambling about some old shit now. But yeah, that's basically me summing up Artel. I don't really know what to think about that. Personally, I have everyone available. And is Allegri really available? People are saying, oh, Allegri available. Get him in. Simeone, get him in. Simeone, he might be a good manager defensively. 
I wouldn't want that guy to manage Arsenal. Like, <laughs> that is a Chelsea manager if I've ever seen one. Like, you know what I mean? I just, I don't like how he acts on the sideline. There, there's like being there for your team, hyping your team up. And then there's being a little fucking hooligan on the sideline. This is the geezer that went down like he got shot in the leg when Beckham flicked a fucking boot at him. Do you remember that? And the replay. That is the same geezer. But nevertheless, what I'm saying is, Simeone, I would never want him to manage Arsenal. People say Allegri, and I think about it, this guy, would he really want to leave Juventus? He might be getting a raise, but there's an expectation that comes with that. We ain't no fucking Juventus. We're not the best team in the country by distance. So Juventus are. Juventus win their, like, the equivalent of their FA Cup all the time. They win the league all the time. Quarterfinals, semi-finals, finals of the Champions League all the time. You're going to come to Arsenal, well, we ain't do none of that. But people are going to be expecting you to get us to that level. And if you don't, ultimately, people are going to be like, should have just stayed with Wenger, should have just stayed with Wenger. I can hear it now. You, you, you know it will come. There'll be the people who are too in love with Arsene Wenger will say, oh, we got rid of Arsene for this. We threw him under the bus for this. This is all your fault. All you lot with your fucking banners. I can see it. In my mind's eye right now at some point that will be said <laughs> yeah if i was allegri why the hell would you want to would you want to go arsenal if you could just add to your resume year after year managing a better team he is a good manager you know he is a good manager i would be happy if he did come but i just i'm not getting my hopes up thinking oh it's, it's, the r set of things a smoke screen allegri's coming in i don't know I don't know. And can he talk English? I don't think he can talk English. So when you've got a manager just here for like two years and he's still got a translator in the interviews, fuck all that. Fuck all that. That does my head in. Now, me personally, it's not really a popular opinion, but I was looking at everyone available. I genuinely think if Arturo is in the running, don't get him yet. You see what Vieira's doing over in MLS. His team's improved every year. I think they're currently, they was un undefeated. They was undefeated. They had played 10 games or so, and they was undefeated on top of their conference. But he's building something good there. He's getting experience managing competitive football, and I like that. I think Arteta should do something similar. Imagine if Arteta goes and manages someone in the championship, or League One, gets a promotion, or does really, really well, and gets to really understand everything that being a football manager is. Then you give him a chance, it makes sense. Now that could take three four five years who knows he might be a manager he might be a complete failure we don't know we've seen players do that if i can give someone the job who i believe is obtainable for, for a start who we can definitely get knows the premier league he currently manages in the premier league he speaks good english he's been there and done that at the highest level he's won the champions leagues he's got to champions league finals fa cup he didn't win the premier league but what he's done this season with a team that got promoted with no money and they finished a couple of spaces below us, is Rafa Benitez. I know it's not a popular or glamorous thing, but I'm talking as though Vieira or Artel or someone else, Thierry Henry even, might be that next guy who we have for a long, long period. I think you go and give Rafa Benitez three, four, five years. You, you give him a couple of years, then you start evaluating it. Is he doing well? Are we improving? If not, I don't want to be one of these teams that change manager every one or two seasons. That's not Arsenal. And I'm willing to give anyone a chance. But it's too early to have Arteta be a manager. Vieira, they've, they've inquired, they, they contacted him. And he thinks they're just doing it because, oh, they'll call me now. It's, like, it's disrespectful. So I don't think Vieira will happen, not anytime soon anyway. But if we're going to go with a young manager that we want to give a chance to really try to build something, he's got to come in with a bit of experience. So for now, a stopgap kind of manager which I don't really like calling him that because he might do really well. I believe he would do well. He gets the most out of players. He'll know that you can't play football against everybody and win. You have to switch up sometimes. We've seen this happen. Liverpool back in the day, great team. Valencia before that, very good team. People say, he went Real Madrid. He got sacked, all this stuff. Bruv, we ain't Real Madrid. <laughs> I wish we was Real Madrid. We ain't fucking Real Madrid. We're a team that's just finished sixth. I mean, I'm just looking at the Premier League table here. Newcastle finished 10th. We ended up 19 points ahead of them, which sounds like a lot. But when you consider the statistics and look at it, Newcastle lost 18 games. We lost 13. 
That's only a five game difference with, well, people would say we have a lot more talented team than them. Five games they lost more than us, just five. We lost 13 games in the Premier League, which really isn't good. When you look at the likes of Man City lost two games, Manchester United and Tottenham lost seven, Liverpool lost five, Chelsea lost 10, we lost 13. We lost more games than Burnley. Now, for, for, for a team that didn't spend anything, they finished 10th, Newcastle. I genuinely believe that this guy could come in and hit the ground running. He knows what it's like to be at a big club. He knows the expectation that's going to be around him. That's the type of manager I would bring in. Like I said, Allegri, is he really going to want to come here? I don't know. Simeone, fuck that guy. But I don't know. It's healthy debate. Leave in the comment section who, if you was Arsenal board, who the hell are you hiring and why? But yeah, thanks for watching. I ain't done a video for a bit. Needed to vent a bit. There's been a lot of shit going on in the last couple of months. Happy the season's finished. We get a fresh start. World Cup's coming up and I'm looking forward to it. If you're new around here, subscribe, hit like if you did enjoy and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Peace.